let's determine the angle between the two planes. So we are given the two planes uh, 2x plus 3y minus z plus 9 equals 0. This is plane 1 and plane 2 is x plus 2y plus 4 equals 0. Observe that in plane 2 we don't have the z term. So I'm going to write this as uh, 0 dot z. So this can be written as uh, 0 dot c plus 4 equals 0. And to determine the angle between the two planes, uh, we utilize this formula. That is cosine theta equals uh, the numerator. We take the absolute value of uh, the dot product of the two normals. And in the denominator, uh, we have the product of the magnitude of the normals. So we have to first to find the normals uh, from the given planes. The normals uh, is basically the uh, coefficients of x, y, and z. So for the plane 1, we write the normal vector. For the components of the normal vector, we take the coefficients of the variables. So it is uh, 2, 3, and negative 1. This is the normal 1 vector. Now let's uh, determine the normal 2 vector. This we obtain from the plane 2. So here we take the components of the normal 2 from the coefficients of the variables. So it is uh, 1, 2, and uh, 0. So we have obtained the two normal vectors, which means uh, we can find the dot product as well as their magnitudes. So first, uh, let's find the dot product of these two normals. That is uh, n1 dot uh, n2 vector. And this equals, so we have to find the product of the corresponding uh, terms and then add them together. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus uh, then 3 times 2 is uh, 6. Then negative 1 times uh, 0 is uh, 0. We have to take the absolute value of this uh, dot product. So let's take the absolute value. And this equals 2 plus 6 equals 8. And the absolute value of uh, 8 equals uh, 8. So we have applied the numerator term uh, to determine the angles. Now in the denominator, we have the product of the normals. So let's uh, first to find the, uh, I'm sorry, in the denominator, we have the product of the magnitudes of the normals. So let's find the magnitude of normal 1. Magnitude of uh, normal 1. This equals uh, the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. For normal 1, the components are 2, 3, negative 1. So it will be 2 square plus uh, 3 square plus uh, negative 1 square. And so this equals uh, 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9 and negative 1 square is 1 and so this equals uh, 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 4 is uh, 14 so the magnitude of normal 1 is root 14 now let's find the magnitude of uh, normal 2 by using the components of normal 2 the components of normal 2 are 1 2 0 so therefore the magnitude equals uh, 1 square plus uh, 2 square plus uh, 0 square and so this equals uh, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 0 is uh, 0 so this equals 4 plus 1 is uh, root 5 and so this is the magnitude of uh, normal 2. Therefore we can now write down the cosine theta where theta is the angle between the two planes and this equals uh, in the numerator we have the dot product of the two normals and we also take its uh, magnitude with the denominator, we have to find the product of the magnitude of the two normals. We have already calculated the magnitude of the dot product of normals, which is 8. So I'm going to plug in 8 in the numerator. And this is divided by the denominator. We should product the magnitudes of the normals. The first magnitude is uh, root 14. And then this is multiplied with the second uh, normal, the magnitude is root 5. So here we have cosine theta equals uh, 8 divided by root 14 times uh, root 5. And therefore, we can uh, write down theta. This equals uh, arc cosine 8 divided by this uh, denominator, that is root 14 times uh, root 5. This is uh, root 14.
we plug this expression into the calculator first we plug this and then we also take the cosine inverse uh, make sure that uh, the calculator is in degree mode and uh, when we do that uh, we get uh, the value of theta this is approximately 17.0 degrees so this is the angle or the acute angle between the two planes let's do part b so here we have the two planes uh, x minus y minus z minus 1 equals 0 is the plane 1 and the second plane is given by the equation 2x plus 3y minus z plus 4 equals 0. So once again we are going to replace this uh, formula. So in this we have to determine the normal vectors and then uh, find the dot products also find the product of the magnitudes. So first uh, let's uh, write down the normal one vector by writing the eight components uh, so we consider this plane 1 in this we take the coefficients of the variables and put them as the components of uh, normal 1 so this is uh, 1 negative 1 and then uh, negative 1 now let's write uh, normal 2 vector we write this uh, by using the coefficients of the variables from plane 2 so this will be 2 3 and negative 1 now we will find the magnitude of the dot product of two normals that is uh, n1 dot n2 vector we find its magnitude and so this equals uh, we find the product of the corresponding components and add them together so 1 times 2 is uh, 2 plus uh, 3 times negative 1 is uh, negative 3 and then negative 1 times negative 1 is uh, positive 1 it should find its magnitude and so this equals that is we should take the absolute value this equals uh, 2 minus 3 plus 1 that is uh, 2 plus 1 equals 3 and 3 negative 3 equals uh, 0 so here we are getting the dot product of the two normals uh, equals uh, 0 and that means uh, the normal 1 vector and uh, normal 2 vector are perpendicular to each other because uh, their dot product is uh, 0 according to the dot product rules when two vectors are uh, when the dot product of two vectors equals zero then those two vectors are perpendicular to each other so here uh, normal one and normal two are perpendicular otherwise we can see that uh, the angle between the two planes equals the angle between the normals since normal one and normal two are perpendicular we can see that the angle which is the theta which represents the angle between the planes equals uh, 90 degree. So this is the angle between the two planes.